the point I'm trying to make is that it's very difficult to infer um, the internal experience of something. So, for example, like an ant, that's an example that was used in the second paper that I mentioned. Mm. Um, in ants, they will um, basically try and help uh, or rescue um, other ants, right? If they if there's a if there's an ant yes. in trouble, often they will try and rescue another ant. But are they doing that because they feel empathy for the other ants, or is it just like this inbuilt like sort of programming in their ants of like, oh, is, we get this signal, got to rescue the ant. Yeah, right. Like because it, it's beneficial for the entire group, right? But it's, I don't quite understand the difference between those two things. So there's a, there's a bit of a difference between an emotional an emotional response um, uh, that pushes you towards doing something. So for example. If you are feeling sad, and I then feel empathy for mm, your sadness, mm-hmm. that's that doesn't that doesn't mean that I'm immediately going to try and comfort you or make you feel better. I could be like, "Oh, you're you're really bumming me out. I'm gonna go go away. home." <laughs> yeah. Like I I could do that or be like, "Can you like stop being yeah. sad? It's bothering me." Yeah, I know. I could do that. Yeah. Whereas with the ant, it's not it's not feeling empathy. It's not feeling sad because the ant, other ant is feeling sad, and that's not driving it to um, then rescue the other ant. It just 